Okay, I promised that we would re refactor this method here. It looks ugly. Let's get it to be in shape. There's kind of two things that we're testing here, and maybe we shouldn't be testing them both. Here we're testing that someone is logged in, and here we're testing that they're the administrative user. In a certain sense, we're doing the, the same, we're doing two things here as well. We're checking that someone's logged in, and here we're checking that they are a, a specific user. Maybe we can kind of combine these together. So let's go ahead and um, do something. Uh, let's do another before action, and let's call that ensure um, correct user. Okay, and this is going to be only in our edit, in our update, and in our dis in our because we're going to reuse ensure user logged in. And that's going to be for all three of these methods here. So if you're having trouble thinking that what we've just done is ensure correct user. All right. So I've just renamed this one to, to be more correct. And we will ensure um, user logged in. Make sure that's what we called it, and right now it doesn't do anything. So we should get the same behavior because all I've done is rename this method, and and everything is the the same as before. But now that I've got a, a new name for a method, now I can actually put this in here. Okay, so ensure um, logged in. So unless we have a current user, right? That's how we tell if we're logged in. We should flash a warning that says something like not logged in. And we can't be more specific than we were before. Redirect to our login path. Okay. And, um, well, let's try that. Let's see if that captures everything that we wanted previously. So we run our tests, and they should still pass because all we're doing is checking that everyone's logged in. Okay, so we have a failure here. Let's see what's going on here. Um, when we try to edit a non-existent user, um, let's look at that test. Spec features users. Line 145. So in this case, we're trying to edit a non-existent user. Um, and we want uh, we want to be able to get a an error message, not an error message that we're not logged in. Uh, so we need to make this more specific here. Uh, let's uh, go like this, and let's oops, let's log in as our user, and we have to avoid capybara because it's a, it's a request type. Let's see what happens now. So now we're logging in, and we're going to try to edit some other user. So this just reflects the fact that we have to be logged in to do that. OK, good. So we can now go back to our app controllers. So now we have this logged in. So. Now, it, since we, we, this correct, ensure correct user is not checking whether we're logged in. Now we're checking if we're the correct user. Now, maybe um, we, we're going to um, 
make this more serious because now they are logged in but they're not logged in as the correct user um, and and so uh, we, we, we have the opportunity to change that uh, but now we, uh, we, we will defer that because we've taken out from our insure admin having to have this check in here so that's easy to take care of. Let's see if that still does what we want us to do. It's, it's more clear now. That method only does one thing. It makes sure that the user who's logged in is an administrator. And we already checked earlier that they're, they're logged in. OK, well, that I think we can agree on is a, a nice change. And then. We, we can do something like um, we can change this. We can say since we're, we know that they're logged in and they're trying to edit another user, they're kind of doing something they shouldn't be doing. So let's, uh, let's change this for, to a danger. And then we can say cannot edit other users profiles and we need that to be double quoted so that the single quote works in there. All right. So now we're giving a more severe error. And we shouldn't send them to the login path. We should send them back to the root path here. Okay. So we've changed behavior uh, without changing our test. So in this case, we're going to expect some tests to fail. Um, and sometimes it can be easier to figure out which tests you modified um, by making change to functionality because you know it's it's the right change and then looking at the test to make sure that they're, they're correct. Okay, so it's right here um, in uh, spec features authorization where we are a authenticated but wrong user. When we try to edit, now what we're, we're saying is we don't want it to, to be redirecting to a login anymore. We want it to be redirecting to, to root. So we're going to um, take this as an example, root. And um, in this case, we can go like this. Let uh, login user be the other user. And then we don't have to do this right here. We have our, our browser path. And then we need to say what kind of error type it is. And that would be a danger, right? We said that's bad news. And let error signature. So this would be, um, this is a new one in here. What would we see if we didn't get redirected to root? And that would be um, edit profile, because that's what we display uh, on there. Okay, so if we try to edit that other user, we're in trouble. And the same is going to be for here. Uh, we still need an error type. And that is going to be danger. And we still need our login user to be our other user. And now we've redescribed when we edit some other user, instead of it redirecting to our login page, now, now we have this redirect to root and we can differentiate from not being logged in from different from being logged in as a um, incorrect user 
we can have different errors show up here. And then we can say, oh, well, there's commonality between these two. Let's see if, um, if we can make this a little bit easier. So for instance, the login user right here is the same in both of them. So let's see if we can just change this let up here and, and inherit it both. And this is a way that you can experiment and see if these are true parameters or we treat them kind of as parameters. And so what we see as we edit these is these are more like variables than, than parameters, global variables. And so, oh, that's, that's nice. Now we can um, s save that. And the other thing is uh, we're going to have the same edit, ed error type. So we can take that out. Whoops. Take that out as well. And it makes it just a little bit more readable. And, and so now we know in this one, when we go to the edit, we, we get these kind of, as this user, we get in trouble. If we try to delete, we, we get in the same type of trouble, but they're, they're different actions. And so now we've refactored our code and added a little bit of functionality when we thought about how it looked and what, what uh, the different pieces were trying to do.